Welcome back to my channel everyone. For this time, we will be talking about distance formula, midpoint formula, coordinate proof. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video tutorial. First, let's talk about distance formula. It is the formula to be used to solve for the distance between two points. For example, this is point one or the first point with the coordinates x sub 1 and y sub 1. And we have the second point, or point 2, with the coordinates x sub 2 and y sub 2. To solve for the distance between these points, we're going to use the distance formula. And the distance formula is d is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Now, how to use this formula? First, you need to substitute the following variables. x sub 2 comes from the x of your second point, while x sub 1 comes from the x of your first point, while y sub 2 comes from the y of your second point, while y sub 1 comes from the y of your first point. Now, let's try to solve the distance between these two points using the distance formula. Our first point as the following coordinates of this is the x-axis this is the y-axis so the x is negative 2 while the y is 2 and our second point as the following coordinates of the x is 3 while the y is negative 2 now let's solve for the distance between these two points first Write the formula. Next, substitute the following given. x sub 2 comes from the x of your second point. So this is the x sub 2, which is 3. Minus x sub 1 comes from the x of your first point. This is the x sub 1, which is negative 2. Don't forget the parentheses. Then, raised to the power of 2, plus y sub 2 comes from the y of your second point. So this is y sub 2, which is negative 2, minus y sub 1 comes from the y of your first point. So this is the y sub 1, which is 2. And then write the close parentheses, and don't forget raised to the power of 2. Next, using PEMDAS, first you need to solve the innermost. So, the innermost is this one, and next is this one. So, 3 minus negative 2. So, a negative sign and a subtraction sign is written beside each other. That becomes positive. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. And don't forget the square. Plus negative 2 minus 2. That becomes negative 4 squared. Next, 5 squared is 25 plus negative 4 squared is 16. 25 plus 16 is 41. And don't forget the square root. So the final answer is square root of 41 or you can have it in a de decimal form which is 6 point 40 units. Next, let's talk about midpoint formula. So it is the formula to be used to know the coordinates of the middle point of a line or points. So if ever we have this line, what is the coordinate of this middle point? Or if we have two points, what is the coordinate of this middle point? So to solve that one, or to know that coordinates, we will use this formula. Midpoint is being denoted with the uppercase letter M. So M is equal to uh, open parenthesis this fraction x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So you will solve this one and you will get the x coordinate and you will solve this one and you will get the y coordinate of your midpoint. 
example, we have this um, graph and we will be solving for the midpoint of this points or this line. So the first point is located at negative 2, 2, while the second point is located at 3, negative 2. So what is the coordinate of the midpoint? First, write the formula. x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2. Write the comma. y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. And then close parenthesis. Next, substitute the following given. So x sub 1 comes from the x of your first point. And that is negative 2 plus x sub 2 comes from the x of your second point. That is positive 3. All over 2. Copy the comma. Next, y sub 1 comes from the y of your first point. That is 2. Next, y sub 2 comes from the y of your second point. And that is negative 2. All over 2. Next, solve this one first. And next, solve this one. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half or 0 0.5. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Divided by 2 is 0. So the coordinates of your midpoint is 1 half and 0. This is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. And where can we find this point? 1 half is the x coordinate. So this is the x axis and 1 half is located here. And y coordinate is 0. So our midpoint is located in this area. This is the midpoint. Next is geometric proof or the coordinate proof. So it is a proof that uses figures on a coordinate plane to prove geometric properties. So for example, you want to know that this line is equal to this line. So if you want to know that the length of this line is it equal to the length of this line, then you're going to place this line or these figures in the coordinate plane just like this. So this line will be placed here and this line will be placed here. That is the idea of geometric proof or coordinate proof. Example, CHAN is an isosceles trapezoid with CH and AN as legs. The coordinates of the following vertices are given as follows. C is located at negative 2, 0 while well, H is located at negative 1, 2, A is located at 1, 2, and N is located at 2, 0. First thing to do is to plot our coordinates in our Cartesian coordinate plane. So, C is located at negative 2, 0. So, negative 2 and 0 is located here. While H is located at negative 1, 2. Negative 1 and 2, so it is located approximately there. A is located at 1, 2. So, this is the 1. And 2 of Y is here. So, approximately, it is located there. How about N? N is located at 2, 0. So, 2 and 0 is just located there. So, this is C, H, A, and N. If we will connect the following vertices, it will form an isosceles trapezoid it should form an isosceles trapezoid. When we say isosceles trapezoid, it's a trapezoid that the two legs should be equal because it is, a, it is an isosceles trapezoid. So these are, uh, these are the two legs. So these legs should be equal in length. If you're asked to connect all the vertices to form the diagonals, you will just do it this way. So these are the vertices. And to see the diagonals or to draw the diagonals, you'll just draw broken lines from one vertex to the opposite vertex and do that one on the other side. 
Next, if you're asked to prove the diagonals of this figure, if they are congruent or not, you will just apply distance formula. So, diagonal, the diagonals are segment CA and HN. So, diagonals are segment CA and segment HN. Are they congruent? That is still unknown. So, to solve that one, again, we will apply distance formula. So, first, solve for the distance of segment CA. So, copy segment CA is equal to write the distance formula. So, C is our first point and point A is our second point. So, C is located again at negative 2, 0, while point A is our point, second point, which is located at 1, 2. So, now, we're ready to substitute the following given. X sub 2 is the X of our second point. So, this is our X sub 2, which is 1. Minus X sub 1, that is the X of our first point. And that is negative 2. Don't forget, the raised to the power of 2. Next. Y sub 2 is the Y of our second point. So, this is Y sub 2, and that the value is 2. Y sub 1 is the Y of our first point. And that is 0. Again, don't forget, there is a power of 2. Next, using PEMDAS, you will solve first the innermost, those numbers that are inside the parentheses. So 1 minus negative 2. So again, negative and a minus sign is uh, beside each other. That becomes a positive. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, plus 2 minus 0 is 2. 3 squared is 9. Plus 2 squared is 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. So, the distance or the length of segment CA is equal to square root of 13 units. And now, let's try to see the length of segment HN. So, write segment HN is equal to the distance formula. So, first, let's write the following um, coordinates of H, which is our first point. That is negative 1, 2. And our N is our second point with the following coordinates of 2, 0. So, we're ready to substitute the following given. X sub 2 is the x of our second point, and our second point is n. So, n is 2, 0. This is our x sub 2, and the value is 2. Minus x sub 1. x sub 1 is the x of our first point, which is h. h is negative 1, 2. So, negative 1 is our x sub 1. Next, y sub 2 is 0 minus y sub 1 is 2. Next, using PEMDAS, solve the innermost equation which are inside the parentheses. 2 minus negative 1, so again, negative and a minus sign is uh, beside each other that becomes positive or plus. 2 plus 1 is 3. Don't forget the raised power of 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Next. 3 squared is 9 plus negative 2 squared is 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. So, the distance from H to N is square root of 13 units. Therefore, segment CA is congruent to segment HN because segment CA is equal to square root of 13 units and also segment HN is also square root of 13 units.